I tell you, this is something I've dreamed about since I was able to walk. And, and I know people are going to say BS, but here's the man right here, five years old. I was throwing a ball against the garage and wrecking his paint job, and he used to give me <laughs> give me lickings for hitting the garage with a ball. <laughs> Come on over here. Let's let's meet your dad. Hi. Hi. How are well, you? Well, you've got to be happy. Well, I am. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Been waiting a long time for this. Now, now did you call him uh, uh, during the middle of the season to, to straighten him out a little bit? Yeah, I called him up. He and found out what's wrong with him. Yeah. And, uh, we got to straighten out. He started playing ball. Larry, I've, yeah, things bother him, that's all. I've asked the other guy, how do you put a handle on this team? You know, the, the whiz kids and all kinds of this and that and everything. You know, what, what kind of a team was this? Smug, overpaid. <laughs> no, I just kidding. I think it's a team with a lot of character, a lot of desire, a team that knew that if we didn't win this year, we might be wearing other uniforms next year. And I think we realized that, hey, let's get on the stick and, uh, and win it. Don't fight management. Uh, Dallas came in, and uh, there's some things that a lot of the older guys didn't like, but maybe we did need discipline. Maybe that's what the whole bottom line is all about, discipline. And he, and he provided the discipline and the leadership, and you can't tamper with success. You know, you can't do anything quietly. You know that. I mean, it's your nature, uh, uh, it's your personality. If something's on my mind, I'm going to let people know about it. And that night when the fans booed us, there were 25 guys on this team that wanted to say they were the worst fans in baseball that night, but nobody had the nerve to say it. I said it, and it gets me in trouble sometimes. I used to get a lot of lickings for <laughs> talking back, and uh, I don't know. I just I just say things sometimes in the spur of the moment. Maybe I'm sorry the next day, but I, that's my personality, and I can't change. I want to win, though. I want to win. And you won. Yeah, we did. You're the guy that when you first came here, they said he swings a bat like a little leaguer. I remember that quote. Yeah, yeah and they said I couldn't hit, and I and I and before I'm take this uniform off, I'm gonna get 2,000 hits too. That's a lot of hits for a guy that can't hit. <laughs> All right, now now that you've had a couple of minutes to savor it, um, it, it, it's obviously worth it. It's the greatest feeling I've ever had since I put on a baseball uniform. I've hit 300. I've won Golden Gloves. I've played in All-Star games. 1980, I'll never forget as long as I live. You know, the people here like you. You know that. I like the people, too. They know me. They know me. Believe me. They know I say things at the spur. In fact, you even said it on the air. Larry doesn't mean it. You know that. Exactly. I know. I heard it. Yeah. You were right. You know me. Not too many people know me, though. You know me. Manny! Well...